Welcome, collectors, to this Diecast Emporium episode. Today we're going to be reviewing two Norscott models. Both of these are based on the CAT 785D truck. The one on the left is the 785D mining truck, and the one on the right is the Mega MWT-30 mining truck with water tank that, of course, sits on a 785 chassis. So both of these models, as I mentioned, were made by Norscott and have been discontinued. The interesting fact to date is that... Either of these, or both of these models rather, have uh, not been reproduced by Diecast Masters to date, so it would certainly be very interesting to see, and uh, my hope is that they do get reproduced and remade. So, let's go ahead and get started. We will first take a look at the mining truck, the main version of this model, the 785D. This is item number 55216. So this truck was made around 2008. And in 1 to 50 scale, it is a rather large mining truck, but it isn't the largest truck that uh, CAT offers. That, as many of you guys know, is the 797. So as you can see, the main function of this truck is, of course, how it dumps. And it has a relatively decent dump angle there, helped by a three-stage cylinder right here. So the cylinder jackets, this is plastic, this is plastic, and then the main ram right here, that is metal. Some of the other working features on this truck include steering. And you can set the steering to a reasonable angle, either left or right. On the passenger side or the right side, the truck has a fold-out mirror. And that mirror does have a silver surface here to give it the impression that it is reflective or a mirrored finish. But in fact, it's not. It's just a silver paint finish. And then you can tuck it back in if you're transporting the truck. The last main working feature on this truck are the rock deflectors between the tandem rear wheels. They are metal. And as you can see here, they work well. Truck also features working suspension, as you can see here. For the details, the casted wheels have a lot of detail in them and look very good. It's always kind of interesting to look at the 785 trucks because they don't have really uh, any wheels or tires that are similar to any of the other mining trucks by CAT. If you look at the dump box, there's four drilled holes on it for lifting eyes so that you can take the uh, dump box off if you want. Looking underneath, you can see the tire pattern on the wheels. And also, back here, you have a safety chain for it working on the truck. Coming over to the cab, It is see-through glass, but much of the interior itself is black plastic as well, so it's pretty difficult to see unless you have it in your hand anyway. It's difficult to pick up on camera any noticeable detail whatsoever. If you look at the stairs, which is how the operator would access the stairs, all of the and gra railings and grab rails, all of those are plastic, and this one right here does swing open and close. Just like that. You can swing it all the way open or all the way closed. So that is the 785D mining truck in 150 scale. If you're a fan of mining vehicles, definitely one that you're going to want to add to your collection, especially due to the fact that to date, uh, I'm filming this in June 2020, this model has not been picked up by Diecast Masters. Um, so the really the only way to get it is to find one on the internet by Norscott. The second model that they did for the 785 is the water tanker version with a mega 30,000 water tanker on it, which is right here, a very impressive beast of a model. This is substantially heavier than the off-highway truck. If you're wondering, this version is item number 55276. So the, the tank on here, the, the basic chassis is the, is the same as it is on the 785, but obviously the biggest difference is this 
huge water tank on it. Uh, it does have two stage cylinders here. This first part right here is plastic. This part as well is plastic. I want to make sure this doesn't go any higher. Actually, it does go higher. So this does have the same three-stage cylinder mechanism as the dump truck has. It's just a little bit finicky and stiff to get started. Looking at the top of the tank, you can see where you would fill uh, the access holes for the water. At the front, you have a nozzle here, as well as your stairs. So I'm not too familiar with these trucks in the real world as for their application. Um, I know that they're used to keep the dust down for dust suppression and mining operations. Uh, I think somebody also told me that they actually use these to clean off other vehicles at the end of shift. Um, and I think even that they use these in some instances for uh, firefighting, if one should break out around the mine or something like that. As for the mirrors... Again, you have a fold-out mirror here, just like you did on there. And you do have the folding door right there. All of your staircases, again, hand and grab rails, they are metal and to scale, which looks great. Mm -hmm. Same kind of interior as you do have on the other 785. Mm -hmm. Looks like you have another sort of spray nozzle on both sides of the tank over here that's highlighted in silver paint. Just like it is on this side and if we go to the rear this is where your main spray spray nozzle assembly is and it looks like you have one two three four different nozzles the two in the middle here are set slightly higher than the two at the end not sure what significance that plays uh, in the real world but there you have it and again, this is a metal piece, so it's not plastic. It's not going to deform over time. If we turn the truck over, you can see the tread pattern of the wheels. Also, where the cylinders are, bottom of the cylinders that are used to lift the tank, as well as the modeled notched steering to steer the front axle. So there you have it, collectors. That is a brief review of both the CAT 785D mining truck and the Mega MWT30 mining truck with the water tank that's based on the 785 truck frame. Initially, I was going to do this in two different videos, but I figured, what the heck, um, probably would make more sense to do both of them in one video because it would make more it would make the most sense to buy both of these at the same time if you're thinking about adding them to your collection. Now, Norscott did this one time before uh, in their history. If you guys remember back to the 777s, they released a 777 off-highway truck and a 777 water truck. So this is not something new or this this way of doing things or this way of thinking is not something completely foreign to what they've done in the past and honestly with these trucks being slightly larger in size class i think it's even more impressive to look at but you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about these trucks if you own these trucks and certainly if any of you guys work in mining operations and you specifically if any of you have actually seen one of these uh, let me know if i missed anything in terms of what they're actually used for in the real world as always i'm tommy with diecast emporium thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video